right, so here we go. Jalen the Tarantula Turner, and it's always a humbling moment for me when I see a man who is 6'3 or 6'4 who weighs the same as I do, right? So I need to cut some weight, but this is not about me. This is about Jalen Turner, and I think everybody agrees that when he stepped up and fought Bobby Green on short notice, he really established a lot of goodwill, not just with the promotion, with the fan base. He had been on the wrong side of a couple split decisions to Dan Hooker and Mataj Gamrot. Now Jalen Turner with this tremendous frame and tremendous skill set, has reinserted himself among the elite in the lightweight division. Not a guy that a lot of fellow lightweights want to see showing up in their bracket. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times personally in a match. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jalen the Tarantula Turner. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there fight. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one. And Jalen Turner looks even taller and longer, if you can believe it, than he did in his last fight. He's a well-rounded five-tool player, credentialed in the BJJ world, an outstanding striker, as Bobby Green can attest. But for the opposition, it's just about how do you get inside against Jalen Turner? Can you even shoot at his legs without paying the ultimate price? We'll see how the opponent chooses to proceed against one of the longer, more accomplished lightweights on the roster in Jalen the Tarantula Turner. Oh, he lands the overhand counter up top there, DC. And again, we've talked a lot about the reach advantage. Certainly helped him get in the striking range there. Outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Look at those weapons. Look how he uses his knees to the body. Frantic pace early on to this one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, good block there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, strong punch there by Jalen Turner. Honing in on those counters. A nasty kick that was thrown with ill intent. Nice combination there. Oh, huge overhand. And everything's landing with 
so much power. We march on three minutes to go. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Nice punch here. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well there. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Turner's got the full mount. Oh. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Lee. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the ground. You don't want to be comfortable on your back. And when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission of big ground and pound. Trying to set up that counterattack. Relax, relax. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. able to get that one back. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Jalen Turner. Efficient with that jab. Doubles up on it now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. He gets to the flying knee. Lee's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the oh, Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and... Oh! That looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising this technique. He is a fantastic judo oh. player, and he did a great job of getting to his position. Great work. You just won that round. I want you to take a deep breath and relax. When we go back out there, the same game plan, but now I want you to use more kicks. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. All right, DC is back from the concession stand as we get our next round underway. And you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet. Not much. Oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That was a beautiful take on the land there. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side. You need to control the far side under her. And Turner's going for a choke here. 
Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground upon. The guy has to move on a fight so he can finish. Great ground upon by this man. He's very accurate in the ground upon and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Lee's in half guard. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Turner. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Mm. Yeah, Page and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out there. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Turner. Oh, right into the mouth. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Jalen Turner. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Man, as he landed the ball. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ninety seconds now to go in round two. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Leg kick lands. Oh, nice. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging. But down the line, you're gonna really pay for it. You're gonna address it right now. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh! He's hurt bad. Oh! With authority, the body. Fast jab lands it. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Final seconds here of round two. Look at how he drives his knee. Right the Turner's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Good round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate stand. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, a nice knee. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Big left hand there inside. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Visibly limping here. Oh, 
Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Huge left hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you... Oh, oh he's in trouble. Big knee to the body. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Great work here from the bottom fighter. He passed the half guard. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he was a good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now he's going full mount. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Turner's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's horrible. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, side kick. Well done. How does he even put any weight on that leg? Look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh. Takedown defense holds up. In a ton of trouble right now. Big knee there to the chest. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Takedown defense is there. Lee's in half guard now. Getting the ball here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Right. That's three rounds. Oh, We're now headed to the championship oh. rounds. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? I don't want you to get time. by throwing...
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Nice shot to the body there. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. He's got the single collar tie. And now some separation. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Nice straight right hand. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh! He's hurt. Oh! Big right hand. I'm no fighter, but if I... Oh, how about these two going at it? Oh, that kick is good by Jalen Turner. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Straight punch lands. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Is back up to his feet. Oh, it's it. Oh. Another kick. Johnny hurt bad. He's hurting really, really bad now. Just out of range with that strike. He gets to the spot. The tie pin. Then he starts to let the knees block. Turner's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Well, not... Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, nice punch there by Jalen Turner. Gets to the single collar time. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Turner. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Get your hands up higher, come on. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Lands the knife. Fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Turner's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Oh, the knees land again, softening up the target there. Oh, late. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of... Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. Okay, now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. 
Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you keep, gotta watch his neck. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice high kick. Big right hand there. Oh! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. The fighters separate. Throwing that jab, no good. He's wobbling. That one landed clean. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, huge left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Back to his feet. Let that one. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Three minutes now to go in this one. Massive body kick lands. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Now some separation. Oh, huge right hand! So now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red, and it's swelling. He's going to have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now. Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him. And now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. Oh, great reversal to top position by Jalen Turner. 90 seconds now to go in this one. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk. Oh, and he lands another leg kick. Man, his opponent's on one leg. Uncle, 
up to up to if I, hey, it's like Rocky. I'm on the apron with the white towel. Throw it in, boy, the fight's over. Down the stretch we come, final round, and what a fight, what a performance on both sides. They'll be feeling it tomorrow, but unbelievable will and fortitude on display tonight. I mean, this is what we as fight fans love, to see two fighters out there battered and bruised, bloody, have been in an absolute war, but neither of them willing to take a step back and give up. I don't know who's going to win this fight, but I do know I am very happy that I was able to call it. Oh, nice. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster...